All right, folks, now that we've set up our testimonial slider, what our clients say, it's time to set up our work. So to get our work onto your website, we're gonna make use of another pre-made Elementor element that comes just for Sydney. Just click to your elements and scroll all the way down and we're gonna grab the A Themes portfolio and drag it into our dotted area. Beautiful, so just like the client's area, when you put it in there, not a lot happens and we have to add our items. But not to worry, we're used to doing the work at this point and all we really need to do is go to Pixabay or maybe you're sick of Pixabay and you wanna to go to Pexels or something, that's another site. But I'm gonna stick with Pixabay and I'm just gonna look up abstract and try to find some really cool artistic portfolio designs. Okay, cool, so here's some good examples. Just gonna grab some, all right, free download, download, not a robot, save it. All right, grab another one, go back. And do make sure, of course, to give credit to the authors with a little link on your site on a credits page. All right, so something else cool, maybe these little uh, ice drops. All right, and I'm gonna speed up this process here and download 10 of them and then put them on the site and I'll show you how to put them on once we download them. So one second. Okay, back in elementary now. I have 10 images, a variety of abstract and humans and animals. We're gonna open up item number one, click image, and then we're just gonna start uploading our cool portfolio images, which are probably for a photography portfolio, but for yours could be fashion, fitness, food, whatever you do to help the world. Let's click open and we will slowly but patiently wait. Okay, now let's start by adding our first one. We're gonna go with these cool stars, insert media. And if we look at the Sydney demo, when you hover on one, it just says project title. So that's where you could have a little description of what someone's looking at. We can just give something really basic to these um, portfolios. And then the filter term is gonna be useful because that's how you click and select you know, this little grab of items, and that's how it jumps around and knows what to pick. So filter term art is great. You can also have this link to another page, which is the full description of it, where someone can buy it, for example. But this is all we need for now. Let's open item two, choose image. All right, we can just go down the line. Filter term, this is gonna be nature. Project title is gonna be droplets and add item. And I think you can add as many items as you want, so go crazy. All right, with our 10th portfolio item inserted, let's update. And then let's come up to the section settings right here, and let's make this section stretched. All right, and now let's try making it full width. So now we get the bigger portfolio images, but we have one problem, which is the images are different sizes. Oh, sigh. All right, so if you see your portfolio images kind of goofy like this with different sizes, unfortunately, I couldn't find a WordPress plugin that would just automatically crop them to the same size. You can find plugins that will resize them, but then they just resize to their like same dimensions, but smaller, and we need them all to match each other in terms of dimensions. So that's tough. I think a WordPress developer should definitely uh, go ahead and make that. But for now, we just have to go to our media library and we need to open up our file right here and we need to actually select a, um, we need to click edit and we need to select a ratio and just do that to every image in the portfolio. So I'm gonna try an image ratio of three to two and then with that in there, hold shift, make sure to hold shift and drag, shift and drag to get the right size and then crop. All right, and then save it. And we're gonna make every image have a three to two ratio. We can go next, edit the puppy, three and two, hold shift and crop. All right, so you can see we're getting rid of some of the image which is causing the portfolio images to not line up. All right, so you get the picture. I'm gonna speed ahead and go with a three and two ratio on all the images, then I'll come back to you and we'll make sure that portfolio looks good. All right, let me know any questions in the comments. All right, so with our last image cropped and saved, let's go out of the media and let's refresh our site and see if WordPress figured it out. 
All right, nothing yet. Maybe if we hover on caching and purge all, it'll work. Because that gets rid of old images that are stuck in the internet. And that still didn't work. So let's go to edit with Elementor and let's re-add those images. All right, here we are down in the portfolio. Item one, remove it, add it, insert, boom. Okay, item two, reinsert it, insert media, close it. All right, so I'm gonna zoom ahead and re-add all these images and then we'll hopefully have a good result. Sorry for the extra step. The cool thing is it's kind of pleasing seeing the images actually fit nicely side by side now. Almost there. And the turtle is last big image and nailed it. All right, now let's update our portfolio. All right, and hamburger view page. Now let's test it out. So we scroll down now. We have a perfectly lined up portfolio, full screen responsive, and we can use those little quick buttons to show off just one little sample of our portfolio or all of it. Awesome, great job.